the rock hewn churches of Lalabella, Ethiopia's holy city rock hewn churches, Lalabella. The 11 medieval monolithic cave churches of this 13th century New Jerusalem are situated in a mountainous region in the heart of Ethiopia near a traditional village with circular shaped dwellings. Lalabella is a high place of Ethiopian Christianity, still today a place of pilgrimage and devotion. The meaning of Lalabella Gabur Meskel Lalabella was a medieval Ethiopian emperor. His regal name Gabur Meskel means servant of the cross, whereas the meaning of his own name literally means the bees recognize his sovereignty. This is based on a mythical telling of his birth when a swarm of bees surrounded him as a newborn. The city of Lalabella was originally called Roja but was renamed to honor its former emperor. The number of churches at the site in total there are 11 monolithic churches dotted around the Lalabella historical site. These are found grouped in three separate locations around the area. The complete list of rock-hewn churches found at Lalabella includes, the northern group Bayat Mariam Bayat Medhain Alam Bayat Golgotha Mikhail Bayat Danijal the western group the Church of St. George at Lalabella the eastern group Bayat Amanuel Bayat Abu Libanos Bayat Kedis Mercurius Bayat Lehem Bayat Gabriel Rufael The significance of this holy site Unsurprisingly the site has had a large influence on Christianity in Ethiopia and indeed the entire region. The population in this region of the country overwhelmingly identify as Ethiopian Orthodox Christian. For this reason, the site retains its holy status and still remains highly popular with pilgrims in Africa and the world over. The churches take inspiration from many Christian symbols such as the Twelve Apostles, the many saints of the faith and the Virgin Mary. Inside Lalabella's churches, recreations of famous religious artifacts such as the Tomb of Adam and the Tomb of Jesus can be found. The historic rock-carved churches have at times in history even substituted for holy sites like Jerusalem and Bethlehem for pilgrims, when travel to the Holy Land was restricted. Outstanding universal value brief synthesis in a mountainous region in the heart of Ethiopia, some 645 kilometers from Addis Ababa, 11 medieval monolithic churches were carved out of rock. Their building is attributed to King Lalabella who set out to construct in the 12th century a new Jerusalem, after Muslim conquests halted Christian pilgrimages to the Holy Land. Lalabella flourished after the decline of the Aksum Empire. There are two main groups of churches, to the north of the River Jordan, Bayat Medhani Alam, House of the Savior of the World, Bayat Mariam, House of Mary, Bayat Maskal, House of the Cross, Bayat Dinajal, House of Virgins, Bayat Golgotha Mikhail, House of Golgotha Mikhail, and to the south of the river, Bayat Amanuel, House of Emmanuel, Bayat Kedis Mercurius, House of Saint Mercurios, Bayat Abba Libanos, House of Abbot Libanos, Bayat Gabriel Raphael, House of Gabriel Raphael, and Bayat Lehem, House of Holy Bread. The eleventh church, Bayat Giorgis, House of Saint George, is isolated from the others, but connected by a system of trenches. The churches were not constructed in a traditional way but rather were hewn from the living rock of monolithic blocks. These blocks were further chiseled out, forming doors, windows, columns, various floors, roofs etc. This gigantic work was further completed with an extensive system of drainage ditches, trenches and ceremonial passages, some with openings to hermit caves and catacombs. Bayat Medhani Alam, with its five aisles, is believed to be the largest monolithic church in the world, while Bayat Giorgis has a remarkable cruciform plan. Most were probably used as churches from the outset, but Bayat Mercurios and Bayat Gabriel Raphael may formerly have been royal residences. Several of the interiors are decorated with mural paintings. Near the churches, the village of Lalabella has two-story round houses, constructed of local red stone, and known as the Lasta Tukuls. These exceptional churches have been the focus of pilgrimage for Coptic Christians since the 12th century. Criterion, I all the eleven churches represent a unique artistic achievement, in their execution, size, and the variety and boldness of their form. Criterion, to the king of Lalabella set out to build a symbol of the Holy Land, when pilgrimages to it were rendered impossible by the historical situation. In the church of Bayat Golgotha, are replicas of the tomb of Christ, 
and of Adam, and the crib of the Nativity. The holy city of Lalabella became a substitute for the holy places of Jerusalem and Bethlehem, and as such has had considerable influence on Ethiopian Christianity. Criterion, 3 The whole of Lalabella offers an exceptional testimony to the medieval and post-medieval civilization of Ethiopia, including, next to the eleven churches, the extensive remains of traditional, two-story circular village houses with interior staircases and thatched roofs. Integrity The drainage ditches were filled up with earth for several centuries, before being cleared in the 20th century, and have been disrupted by seismic activity. This has resulted in a severe degradation of the monuments from water damage, and most of them are now considered to be in a critical condition. Structural problems have been identified in Bayat Emanuel where an imminent risk of collapse is possible, and other locations need to be monitored. Serious degradation of the paintings inside the churches has occurred over the last 30 years. Sculptures and bas-reliefs, such as at the entrance of Bayat Mariam, have also been severely damaged, and their original features are hardly recognizable. All of this threatens the integrity of the property. Temporary lightweight shelters have now been installed over some churches and these, while offering protection, impact on visual integrity. Other threats include encroachment on the environment of the churches by new public and private construction, housing associated with the traditional village adjacent to the property, and from the infrastructure of tourism. Authenticity The rock-hewn churches of Lalabella are still preserved in their natural settings. The association of the rock-hewn churches and the traditional vernacular circular houses, in the surrounding area, still demonstrate evidences of the ancient village layout. The original function of the site as a pilgrimage place still persists and provides evidence of the continuity of social practices. The intangible heritages associated with church practices are still preserved. Protection and management requirements for centuries, the church and state have been jointly responsible for the holy site of Lalabella. Home to a large community of priests and monks, it is a living site which draws many pilgrims to celebrate the great feasts of the Ethiopian Christian calendar. This active and energetic perspective is central to the management of the site. No special legal framework is provided to protect the rock-hewn churches except the general law, Proclamation No. 209-2000, which has also established the institution in charge, the Authority for Research and Conservation of Cultural Heritage, ARCH. With the Ethiopian Church as a partner, the Arch has a representative in Lalabella but a principal difficulty has been the harmonization of the different projects and effective coordination between the partners. The property is administered under the regional and the Lasta District Culture and Tourism Office. To prevent the property from the impact of development, a draft proclamation has been prepared but this is not yet ratified. A management plan has not yet been established. A four-year conservation plan was established in 2006 but this has yet to be fully implemented. The boundary for the property has not yet been clearly delineated and a buffer zone has not yet been provided. There is a need for stronger planning controls for the setting of the churches that address housing, Langes tourism and for a management plan to be developed that integrates the conservation action plan and addresses the overall sustainable development of the area with the involvement of the local population. Visiting Ethiopia's rock-hewn churches of Lalabella One of Ethiopia's national wonders is its famous rock-hewn churches of Lalabella. This is Ethiopia's own Christian holy city featuring a number of ancient churches carefully carved into the rock of the northern Ethiopian landscape. Visiting this UNESCO heritage site is relatively simple with an Ethiopian e-visa for tourists. Since 2017, the state has permitted visitors to enter the country with an easier-to-acquire Ethiopian e-visa. This is obtained online via a web application form and grants applicants a tourist visa of up to 90 days to visit the country. Once your e-visa is approved, you'll be ready to visit Lalabella itself. The following article will provide you with a brief introduction to this heritage site and how you can make your own pilgrimage to this unmissable Ethiopian destination visiting Ethiopia's rock-hewn churches of Lalabella. Once you have arrived in Ethiopia you will need to travel to the north of the country to the city of Lalabella. In order to get there, you have several options for transportation available, 
depending on where you are the country. Reaching Lalabella by air it is possible to take an internal flight from Addis Ababa International Airport directly to Lalabella. This flies twice daily and takes approximately 45 minutes to arrive in the city. The airport in Lalabella is located just 23 kilometers away from the city center. Traveling to Lalabella by bus there are regular buses from both Addis Ababa and Makeley, which both require a change of en route. However, Journey times are long and can take several hours up to a few days. Visitors should also be advised that these routes are known to be particularly busy and poorly maintained, which can cause delays and discomfort. Driving to Lalabella there is a direct road covering the nearly 500 kilometers from Mikili to Lalabella. This is one of the simplest ways to drive by a car or motorbike to the site of the churches. The road from Lalabella to Addis Ababa, on the other hand, covers 650 kilometers and has a journey time of around 14 hours. There are many sites that you shouldn't miss if visiting this glorious East African nation and the monolithic churches of Lalabella are certainly one of them. If you wish to travel to Ethiopia to see these magnificent rock-hewn churches for yourself, remember to ensure you meet all the visa requirements and to travel with an authorized e-visa in order to enjoy a smooth arrival.